Hey everyone, I've got a special home to show you right here. This is a really cool single section. It's got like your front kitchen set up on it. Plus we have a porch here. This is manufactured by Colony Homes. Very, very thankful I'm getting to show this off to you. I'm gonna walk and talk a little bit and I'll show you something when we get back around to the front. Lots of windows on this side. These homes are actually set up at their plant here in Pennsylvania. They've got them set up for all the retailers to come look at and place orders and that type of thing. I'm very, very thankful they um, let me come video them as well to show them off to y'all. So I'm super grateful for that. So you're getting to be one of the first to get to see these houses. Uh, notice we got our black shutters, matches our black soffit and fascia. Um, I think we have a side door over here. They got it parked up right here by the plants. I don't know how much I'll be able to get for you, but just don't get in this bar bar chance. <laughs> the stuff I do for y'all, risk putting my life on the line. We got a water faucet here and then yeah, so here's a side door. So two entryways on this house, electrical outlet there. Let's get back around to the front. So yeah, really nice front porch. They built manufactured and modular homes here. That's a modular house. It is really cool. But yeah, here's just a few of their models. The show actually doesn't start till next week. So they're still finishing up some stuff. Come back right here and give you a look. Here's another very cool house. If I've toured it, I'll pop, if I've posted it, I'll pop the thumbnail. I did tour it a while ago. It's got a really, really nice layout. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested in something like this, stick around at the end, I'll try to cover a lot more information. But basically, you can find your local retailer that carries this manufacturer and you can custom order this model to the way you would like. They'll handle your setup, finance, and all that good stuff as well. A nice, nice, great size porch. I can tell you got plenty of room to be comfortably set two people. You even got room for a third chair if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's the, uh, uh, what me and my but I got two friends. We're called the tripod. You know, if it's you and you try, if, if it's the tripod getting together. There's your electrical outlet. Let's get in. Let's get in. Here we go. Oh yeah. So they have this one kind of set up themed as like a maybe hunting camp or a cabin. Obviously it wouldn't have to be for that use only, but uh, there's some massive deer in here. I'll just go ahead and tell you. With the first one being right here, look at this. I'm talking about what if you was hunting and that baby stepped out? Whew. Two different cabinet colors in here, and I've seen a lot of others uh, in some of the other houses. So just keep that in mind, okay? Speckled trout. Black appliance package. We got the built-in microwave. Get your shelving, you can move up and down. And so down here, you got your little breakfast nook or dining area. You got your brown trout, your brook trout, and your rainbow trout. Down here, you got your salmon, your walleye, and your largemouth bass. I also make ones called smallmouth bass, but that's a largemouth. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all didn't know I knew all that. I tell y'all, y'all hang around me long enough, you learn a thing or two. Like, for instance, this refrigerator is built by Whirlpool. And I knew that from looking at it, not with not from the logo, okay? I know a Whirlpool refrigerator when I see one. What in the world? Now, they make this stuff look so real. I really want to take a, but I can't. 
That's for decoration. Let's get into the living room. I'm sorry. Now look at this bad boy. Holy smokes. So all our bedrooms are gonna be down there. Uh, I've, I've toured some layouts similar to this with your kitchen and everything on one end at, at the porch area. And they always seem to do really well. So I think people really like that. Y'all let me know, I wanna hear from you. Okay, let's check out a bedroom. You gonna have your VOG walls in this house, uh, potentially can have in drywall, I really don't know, I'm gonna try to ask and make sure on that, on this particular model, but I know they do offer drywall uh, homes. So we got our panel for our breaker box, right there, no breaker box, holy smokes. Water heater, sorry about that. There's the breaker box. Oh, got you Zebco, boy, look at that. Makes me think of that, uh, uh, what's that, what's that country singer's, uh, name? Man, I went blank. Justin Moore, he got that song we're talking about, talking about uh, her, her new boyfriend can't even beta Zebco. Or I think it's something like that. We got the hanging rod cabinets, washer and dryer spot. I'm gonna tell you what, ladies, if you've got a man can't even bait a Zepco, you need to, you need to get away from him. Look at this, look at this. I cannot make this up, you guys. There's that small mouth bass. You can get your striped bass, your bluegill. Got your northern pike. Mm. white cabinets in here. Now look, you see the mouth on that sucker? That's she large mouth, okay? I hope anyways. All right, into the main bedroom. Ooh, this room's good size. So we got two beds in this house. Great size walk-in closet here as well. And they went with the different cabinets in this bath. And we have some cabinets here above the commode. I do like these pools. Look great. Match our sinks and everything. I mean, our faucets. So we've got, uh, check out the shower tub combo. This thing's big. I see these all the time. They're clarion. And this, is, this area is clarion. I wonder if these are built around here. I need to Google that.
Okay, I'm not gonna spend all day in this house, and I'm sorry. I know I got a little carried away talking about the bass and stuff, but uh, just I, I got that. You know what I have? I have one of those problems where what, whatever comes to my head, comes to my mind, I just say it, and that's I know that's not a great thing. <laughs> Uh, I want to get into more information on this manufacturer, try to help you if you're in the market looking for something like this. Before we do that, if you haven't dropped a like, at least do it for this bad boy. Goodness, I mean, deer season is just starting up at the time of recording, and I could just imagine, son, I'd be sitting there and be like, oh my gosh, what I do? Mm. And uh, share this video if you will, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Okay, so let's get into some information pricing and all that on this particular house. And let me tell you, if you're dating somebody and he can't even bait a Zebco, you need to cut ties today. Today. Sorry, I got a little carried away in that tour, so I apologize. A lot of you probably had me on mute, and I don't blame you. This is a house manufactured by Colony Homes. They build manufactured HUD and modular homes okay this is part of their community eastland series so with that being said i imagine this is a house that'd be pretty cool that you could set by several of them and put in a community or something or also be a great starting house for a smaller couple or a secondary uh residence something like that be a great fit for those things it's uh the a 12046b i will have some information in the description uh, I'll try to have a link directly to this model, and I'll have uh, stuff that can help you. We're coming in at 921 square foot. We are uh, 15 by 68. Uh, so basically, it'll be, a, it'll be a 16 wide counting your eaves and stuff. Uh, so yeah, 68 with the porch there, six foot porch. And so yeah, uh, anyways, if you want to check out that link, there should be some more pictures, Matterport, stuff like that on their website. So I will drop that below. With that being said, y'all know me, I try to keep it diverse here on the channel with a little bit of everything. And so I thought, hey, this would be a great time to put out this house because it's a little smaller, but it's got a little unique touch. And then definitely, um, you know, if you wanted to go with tape and texture walls and stuff like that, that would be an option. Obviously, it'd be up charge as far as pricing and stuff, which is what I would like to get into next. Now, when I'm recording this, it's actually the day before Thanksgiving, but it comes out after Thanksgiving. So I hope you're able to transition through Thanksgiving. I know how it is for me after uh, a day. Isn't, isn't it just crazy on Thursday, um, like the amount of uh, like food you consume? I know for me, like it ain't even happened yet, but I'm just kind of imagining. By Thursday night, it's like, oh, I just feel so... I've ate so much dressing and and sweet potato casserole and deviled eggs. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But anyways, yeah. So you're probably recovering a little bit um, still. But I just want you to know, hey, everything's going to be okay. Okay, let's get into pricing. This will be, this will just be a range, okay? Because obviously we don't know exactly what retailer this house is going to. So this house was set up there at their plant. Um, you would you would order and purchase this house through your local retailer, which you can find all that through the link as well. Um, but yeah, you know we don't know exactly which state it's going to. They ship these in several different states. We don't know exactly the one you're ordering, all the options and stuff like that. Uh, so this will just give you a good idea, okay? It'll be for at the time of recording, and that's my goal is just to provide something for you. I'm not selling these or anything. Uh, but yeah, great price point for a house like this. Uh, great for a starting family. Here we go. Okay, well, I guess my time is done here. And I'd like to close out by saying, look, I know you've probably been doing some Black Friday shopping this weekend or something along those lines. And you cut somebody off in traffic. You you uh, you cut in front of somebody with your buggy at Target. You, you probably, now would be a good time if you want to make a phone call and apologize to anybody. I think you should. It'd be the right thing to do. Your stress levels weren't at an all-time high. I understand. I understand. That's a joke, honestly. But with that being said, I do want to encourage y'all, and I'm saying this for myself. This is not just for you guys. Let's enjoy this season, this time. Let's not get caught up and got to do this, got to do that, got to be here, got to be there. Take a deep breath. Relax. Everything's okay. God's in control. You're going to get to where you need to go. Just, just uh, 
enjoy, enjoy the process. Enjoy the grind, as I would say. Hope you have a tremendous weekend. I'll see you right back here on the next video or check out one of these popping up right here. All right, see ya.